So first up you can see we've got the stock pipework on the Awaza Biomaster 250 here. I've got a 600 thermo on the other side. Uh, I'm running with the Eheim tubes, the tubes that came with it didn't quite reach with my tank. Uh, so first off what we're going to do is just turn off the filter at the mains. Now I've got some zip ties actually on these to hold them together because I didn't have the little suction cups to keep them in place. And obviously I didn't want either of them falling out of the water. Uh, so I'm just going to cut away the zip ties so that those are free. And then the next step is to remove the uh, the water that's already in those tubes. And you've got to bear in mind they will be full of water still. Um, you get some of it out. Some will have gone back into the filter. But it's best to, to pour some out into a bucket. Now what you'll see here. And it did take me a little, little moment to realise uh, what was going on was that I was just draining the filter. So the important thing is once you've turned off the filter, make sure you uh, disconnect the pipework, the tubes from the filter. So when you've got the filter, you just need to turn the little catch 90 degrees, and then that'll ensure that you're not just running the water out of the filter. Uh, otherwise this will uh, take quite a bit longer than it needs to. So once you've got the water out of there, you can then uh, just remove that green tubing or the grey tubing, the clear tubing, whatever colour you've got from there. Now in my instance this was quite difficult, I tried putting it in warm water to uh, loosen it a little bit, I couldn't get it off so in the end I just decided to cut through it. Now I was fine because I had plenty of hose, I had a good sort of extra 30 centimetres um, of hose available so this was fine, it didn't affect me. This is something for you to consider, do you have enough hose there? so that when you change over to the different pipes uh, you can uh, sort it out or do you need to uh, find a better way. A bit of hot water should be okay, should be able to get it off. Um, however, yeah, I'd got these, I'd made sure they're really tight the first time around and just couldn't get them off uh, at all despite trying. You can see my various efforts here uh, with hot water and sink. So sometimes that works, sometimes you might just want to cut them off or soak them for a long time in that hot water. So you've got a couple of different options there, whatever whatever works for you. So here we are, we've got both ends removed and here we're going to put them to hot water just so they're loosened up to apply to the new pipework. So I actually got some glass pipework from China, uh, it cost me about £18 uh, including shipping through AliExpress and all we're going to do here is soak both ends of the tube in hot water just so it loosens them up slightly and makes it easier to apply them to the new pipework. I won't have to force them on at all uh, they'll go on really easily. Uh, it's a nice little trick, so it's always worth bearing in mind if you do need to remove them or apply them. And it's just a little bit too tight. That just loosens the material a bit, allows them to stretch, and then forms a nice seal across them. So you've got to remember, make sure you check which is your in, which is your out pipe. You don't want to attach them the wrong way around. Uh, so once you've got that, you can apply them. Again, bear in mind, uh, depends on which pipe work you're attaching. These are glass, so you've got to be careful with them. Um, there are different pipes where we get stainless steel options as well. So whichever you choose, just uh, just apply them. Just be careful anyway. But yeah, especially with glass, you just need to be quite careful with it because it can be fragile. So now you've got your tubing attached to your pipe work. You just want to run your pipes all the way down to your filter. Make sure they attach okay. Make sure your pipe work sits as you want it. And prime your filter. Whether that's pressing the button or sucking in on the outflow. Whichever way works for you in your filter. Get that done so your filter is full of water and then turn it on. For me, it's all set up and it's just putting out these little bits of air and it's creating this lovely ripple effect on the tank. You see that with the luminous lights showing up on the wall around it and the ceiling and it just makes a really immersive experience and it means the tank is not just within the four walls of the tank but it's all the way around and that looks really good in the corner of my living room. It's a great time as well just to give the, uh, the sides of your tank a clean Make sure everything's run as it should be, trim any plants you want, really appreciate it. There you can see the last few bubbles just shooting out of it. And that should be you all sorted with your new pipework, all nice and clean and ready to go.